Okay, in this video I'm going to show you uh, the options regarding volume, shallow copies and the method and examine uh, on how to uh, review them. So if I uh, spring up a process and then we call this case volume, go to evidence sources and computers and then load. If you remember um, on a previous video we, we added an EO1 which I'll do now so I'll add in this EO1 here and then you'll see that it says volume shadow copy here however we do have a um, dedicated like volume shadow copy reconstructor and the way or the best way to obtain material from that is to add it in as a uh, as its own volume shadow copy and the way you do that is instead of clicking image if I click on volume shadow copy this time an image and pick the same EO1 um, as I did normally it will look at the EO1 and identify all these shadow copies that are present now you can either select all of them or if you're only interested in material uh, at a certain date and time you know you can pick and choose so for this example I'll, I'll pick these three here and likewise you, you can pick specific folders if you want to but I'll just keep it simple and pick these three here click next and then these get added in as well as they normally would as a piece of evidence and then you can just go through your process i.e. adding keywords and uh, selecting artifacts and once you've done that um, this is one I made earlier um, this case has uh, a volume shadow copy in it along with the uh, EO1 however you'll notice that uh, in evidence here um, there's no way of filtering just for the um, volume shadow copy it's only coming up with the hd1.eo1 uh, the way to get around that is if you go to file system and click on the EO, uh, hd one you'll see here that this is the um, partition or in its current state and then this is the shadow copy that I added in as well the way to see artifacts for each individual item so if I just take you back to artifacts, this is showing all artifacts for both the uh, EO1 added in normally and the shadow copy. So if I go back to file system, if I right click on shadow copy and then go view related artifacts, this basically uh, filters out all the um, artifacts that were created from the normally a one and the artifacts you've got here are from only the shadow copy and if I press X I can turn that off likewise if I go back to file system and I just want to see artifacts that are, are on the current machine state if I just right click on partition 3 and then view related artifacts Again, this will remove all the shadow copy artifacts and just show you the artifacts in relation to the uh, like normal EO1 current computer state. Uh, and that's how you uh, can review uh, material from uh, volume shadow copies.